So first up, people see all of you, all of you guys, and all these videos. But here's something we've never really dealt with. What's your name, and what do you do? My name's Martin Polyakov, and I'm so-called research professor in chemistry. So I do chemical research, and I teach. My name is Samantha Tang. My job title is Public Awareness Scientist, which doesn't mean much to many people, but in effect, my role in the School of Chemistry is to communicate to the public the research work that we do, and also to engage with the public, and especially with school children, on a variety of different projects, activities, events that we run. My name's Pete Isence. I'm a chemist, and my research work is based upon the use of um, a different type of liquid. So it's a liquid which is made only of ions, so there's like no simple neutral molecules in there at all. And we use these ionic liquids to, to try and develop new forms of catalysis, new types of um, materials production, and chemical reactions or processes that have a, a reduced environmental footprint. So my name is Deborah Kays. Um, I am a lecturer in inorganic chemistry at the University of Nottingham. You could say my work is thematic in green chemistry or, or the words I prefer to use are more sustainable types of chemistry. So my name is Darren Walsh and I'm a physical chemist and my research involves um, looking at, mo mostly involves looking at new types of uh, energy conversion devices. So. What I mean by that is we do a lot of work in fuel cell catalysis, we do work on supercapacitors, and we also do chemistry in ionic liquids. I'm Dr Robert Stockman, or Rob to most people. Um, I'm an organic chemist. I work in the area of natural product synthesis. Right, my name's Steve Little, and I research uh, compounds which contain uranium and lanthanide metals uh, because I think they're really interesting and there's not been enough research done about them so I look into them and find lots of surprises. Uh, my name is John Moses and I'm an organic chemist which um, well we're specializing in making natural products uh, molecules that exist in nature and we try and make them in the laboratory especially if they have a particular function or activity say for against bacteria or cancer or if they're just kind of interesting structurally interesting we'll try and make them so we're like um, artists, we try and sculpt molecules using chemistry, I guess. That would be a simple explanation. So there you go. I'm a molecular architect, if you want to put it that way.